Hey guys, it's Mr. 100% Gamer here, and this is part 2 of Jet Rocket, or Chapter 1, a tall part 1. Uh, you'll notice there are three teleporters or three buttons here. The second two can't be unlocked until you get things called solar cells, which are the collectibles in this game. This is like the hub of the game, the the patrol hub. We're going to have to go to the first level, it's the only one open, and that is Atoll. It's only one level open, get to the mountaintop. Let's go! Okay, so here we are, this is the first real level of the game. It was just a tutorial video. The reason I uploaded the other one just as it was was because really I just wanted to kind of announce the new project and the fact that when I uploaded it YouTube was having a lot of uploading glitches and I didn't want to try and upload something huge and then for it have it fail. It actually took hours to process. Uh, you may have noticed by now, actually I'm going to show you a secret. There you go. Heart attack. Find a secret heart. Heart to basically get your lives. You can't get more than four. But you can keep hitting the trees. Any tree in the game you can dash into and you will get a heart. Press A to jump and then hold A again to start up your jetpack. You have to refill your jetpack at every one of those little station things which we used before where you spin around. Turn across here and nearly, nearly uh, dash off the edge. The Wii controls can be uh, a bit dodgy on every single Wii game. It's strictly forbidden to dig for hidden treasures. You see those X's on the ground? They are hidden treasures and they are secrets. Uh, as I showed you before, there are achievements in this game, or awards as they're called, and uh, you can unlock them by doing certain tasks, and one of those tasks is to uh, find 10 secrets, so dash 10 X's basically, throughout the game. Let's have a look what this one says. No jetpacks allowed here. This game, for whatever reason, has a big anti-pollution message in it. It's, it's a very, it's trying to be a very green game. I don't know why that is. I mean, it was made in Germany, who, as we all know, the Germans very efficient. Yeah, it's like an anti-pollution message, but the fact is, it's not just a really rubbish message, and the story's pretty bad as well. It's not bad. It's just not great. It's not even good. <laughs> It's alright, it's doable. It's passable, even, not doable. It's doable. Okay. This artifact needs energy, bring me four batteries and I will power it on. Batteries to power something made of stone. Yep. That's video game logic for you. Do the jetpack across here. Those blue things we've been picking up, um, they are solar cells. You need to collect them to access later parts of the game. You don't have to collect all of them in the level, you can just collect as many as you want per level. You don't actually have to take out all that bamboo stuff, but I did there anyway. And as I showed you there, there's a heart in every tree in the game. So hit any tree and you'll get a heart from it. But as you can see, it never goes above four. There's also something I'll show you a bit later. Which is um, to do with lives, but I'll tell you about that later. Make sure you don't forget these solar cells around here. Jump up, or jetpack up, I suppose. I don't know if I'm the only one, but this game has a big Mario feel to it for me. It feels a lot like a Mario game. If Mario was a chubby German anti-pollution engineer, rather than a plumber, an Italian plumber. It's like Shining's Mario. I don't know if I like this game, I mean, I know I know I like the game, I'm just don't, I don't know if I like the game more than I actually should like the game. Maybe I'm just surprised at how good it is. Thanks for the batteries, and let's go.
That thing is made of stone. Why does it need a batteries? That's not the last time we'll see batteries in this game. You may have noticed that scene from that trailer video I made a couple of months ago. Uh, you can use them to get around part of the level quicker. As you can see, this is the very start of the level. Jump back up and we'll go back to the top. Just to get around the level quicker in case you missed any solar cells or anything like that. We're actually at the end of the level, you'll notice we've still got about 22 solar cells to get. Make that 21. This is a life. And if you get 10 of those, you get an award or an achievement. So that's always nice. But you collect, you'll easily get that throughout the game. The game's not hard. And you'll also notice that uh, we got an award called Dash em All, which is to destroy every enemy in the level. I will be getting all the awards, as I mentioned that in the first part. Right, there should be six solar cells on top of here. Is there... I already know the answer because it's post-recorded. Yes. Get them all. Get all solar cells in one level. There isn't an award for getting them all in every level, so don't worry. And dash! Ace of hearts. Complete a level with four hearts. Lifesaver. Don't lose a heart in one level. Well done! This little scene showing you all of your solar cells. 60 out of 60. We've now unlocked two new levels, Jet Ride and Riddle of the Sawblade Canyon, but I'm actually going to go back to get to the mountain top. Let's go. So here we are again. I've come back to get two awards, although you might only come back for one. I, d I just think this is the easiest level to get one of them. Maybe not the other one, if one there's a much easier level to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. The first award I'm going to get is the, um, I think it's called Mr. Nice Guy. And basically, all you've got to do is not kill any enemies in the level, which is really easy to do, especially in this level because it's so short. You still have to do all the collecting the batteries and everything as well. Because that thing doesn't stay open. So basically all you got to do is just try and avoid them and don't kill them. Whatever you do, don't kill them. Because then you'll fail the award, basically. And that's the whole reason we're here. The second one is to not collect any solar cells. And I can't remember what that one's called, but we'll get that one as well. That, that level I showed you before that we've unlocked, um, Jet Ride, that is, there's actually a much easier way to get the Don't Get Any Solar Cells award, and that is in Jet Ride, and I'll show you that in the next part as well as showing you in this part. I just thought when I was recording this, that since I'm here doing this, I may as well get the no solar cells award as well, if I could. Which I could in the end. The reason I'm not doing this 100... Um, I'm doing 100%. The reason I'm not, I'm not doing it um, live record, live narration, which I've been doing recently, is... Well, firstly because it's actually harder for me to do it live because I have to record my narration on the microphone and the game has to be either muted or very quiet. So, if there's like a acknowledgement through like an, an, a clip, an audio clip or something, I can't hear it. So it's a bit, it's a bit annoying. Let's see if we can actually glide all the way over here. And we can. And also, there's, there's a level in this game or two levels in this game which have things which could be really annoying. Mr. Nice Guy, got it. And no celery. I think that was quite a good part. Well done. See you next time.